Dishonored is the latest stealth action game from Arcane Studios, headed up by Harvey Smith, the brain behind System Shock, Thief and Deus Ex. We took a trip to meet the Bethesda-owned developer in their Leon studio, where we discovered that there's more to Dishonored than just stealthy sneaking and gruesome assassinations. For one, Dishonored doesn't look quite like any game you've seen before. Its unique art style is a creation of Viktor Antonov and Sebastian Miton. They told us how rather than chasing a photorealistic style, they've gone for a painterly stylized effect for their steampunk inspired pseudo Victorian game world. It's a realistic game, a harsh, realistic urban experience represented through the lens of, you know, mystical photography and lighting and illustration rendering style. I prefer to, uh, to develop something that's, that, um, that fit my vision <clears throat> instead of trying to look like other games where they use photorealistic uh, textures or geometry. And uh, it's a kind of approach like, uh, like painters did in the past, trying to, uh, to see through my lens. It's somewhat of a historical piece. Um, this could get very um, old and, and heavy and dark and it needs some freshness and modern elements to it. So, you know, history is often represented in a stylized way because you, know, you don't know what it looked like exactly and it needs some punch and contemporary feeling to it. So we were in, that's why we looked at illustrations about England in the 40s. Dishonored's setting is as much the star of the show as its assassin hero Corvo. The action takes place in Dunwall, a fictional fantastic city that borrows from 1940s London. A game setting is definitely as important as the main character, or even more, because you're in it, you see it more than the character. It is based on, on England and on London, and we did a lot of field trips, analyzed it a lot. And then every piece of science fiction and parallel reality have a real source of structure, history, and, and meaning to it. So that's why we chose uh, a metropolis of a fantastic place like London. Christophe Carrier, lead level designer on Dishonored, told us how the detailed city environments are designed to give players the freedom to explore and approach objectives however they choose. We have the streets uh, where we come back. I mean, it's the same uh, group of streets, uh, but they, of course, it changes throughout the game. It's the same architecture, but there are uh, doors that are closed sometimes and you, you can open them. These levels are, have a lot of verticality. This is something that I love in games, you know, when you can uh, basically go wherever you want to go. You know, it's, it's, it's part of the assassin's fantasy to do that. It's depth, it's r rather than going in a big span and covering miles with a vehicle, one building is so meaningful that you can play through it as three different levels because you can explore it in completely unexpected ways. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's about depth and density of experience. As Antonov tells it, art is supremely important for enhancing the player's experience. Not just for making things pretty, the art of Dishonored is used for foreshadowing and relaying backstory. The, the role of art um, in the gameplay is to foreshadow the experience or trick the player in the way that he feels that he'll experience something uh, else and then he'll get sucker punched by the gameplay and the gameplay will have a higher impact. And secondly, rather than writing it and using talking heads to tell the backstory, you can just tell it through the environment and you get a sense of depth and, and texture to the world. We were showing the Golden Cat, one of Dunwall's iconic locations and a lavish, opulent contrast to the gloomy city. It's a house of burlesque for Dunwall's wealthy elite. An important part of the game is contrast of experiences, so sometimes the city is a bit dark and moody and scary. And of course, you need to have a musicality to this and then go up to an open space, darker, brighter, and this is a very lush, colorful, baroque place that is a world within the world. It, I pushed really hard uh, for, for this location because I wanted, uh, in total contrast with the whole world, it's like there are circles everywhere, it's colorful, uh, like a punch in the player's head. It, 
Uh, I wanted him to start the level like in dark streets with rats, then open the doors and with a huge revelation. Yeah, and I mean, when you have the plague and corpses and poverty, let's have some lust and beauty too, and sin.